Just finished editing and uploading the last stop on our Italian road trip, which was Venice. This is the last stop on the Europe trip. We're actually back to where it all started in Portugal. Different city this time. We are in Lisbon. The trip started in Porto, but I just wanted to show you the Airbnb we're in for the next few days. We've gotten really lucky with some nice Airbnbs on the trip. Check out that light fixture. So this is the spot. Come through here and we've got a pretty funky colored kitchen, some laundry, roller skates, and not a bad view from here at all. I'm not gonna show you the bathroom and bedroom because they're pretty lived in at the moment but I will show you this beautiful deck out here got a really nice sitting area another beautiful view it's kind of hard to believe we've been away so long but this is the spot we're gonna be ending the trip today we're heading over got a tram going by down there Today we're going to be heading over to this really cool historical site that's very close to the Airbnb. Tonight, checking something off the bucket list that I've been trying to do this entire trip and it just hasn't worked out, but today's the day, so that is the plan. This morning we are headed to see Bellum Tower, just a few minute walk from our Airbnb, just going over this footbridge above the highway here to get to the park where it's at. There it is, Bellum Tower. Bit of a line to get in, but I guess we get a good look at the tower while we're waiting. Almost there. Alright, we got through the lineup and on the way in. Got the bastion to the left. High tower. Right through here. Go up here first. Ooh. Cool. This is pretty awesome. Oh, look at this. For opening and closing the drawbridge. Okay, looks like we're Doing some steps here. Pretty tight one up here. King's room. Fireplace over here in the corner. Got a little balcony up here. Going up. Another level. We're almost at the top. Maybe one more to go. This is the last moment I'm going to trip. This is the top. Oh, yeah. Down we go. Where do we end up? Nobody knows. Makes you a little dizzy going up and down stairs like that. Back down to the lower level here, the bastion. Got a lot of these cannons. More cannons. No entry past this point, but I think you normally can go down the stairs there. And that was Bellum Tower. It's pretty quick to go through, it takes about a half hour, 45 minutes, but neat to see. Just a little further along here, we've got the monument discoveries and I don't know if it's coming through on camera but this is pretty massive it's tall quite the monument look at this tile work here we're right around this area and in a couple of days we're gonna be back around this area <laughs> just stopping for some seafood and salad near the monument over there there's actually a bunch of food trucks all along the water so we might even 
try a couple of those on the way back too. All right, time to try out some of these food trucks. First truck we came to had something we've been craving for the whole trip. Some oysters. We've got some Tabasco sauce in there and they're delicious. Oh, I'm not kidding, this is like 30 seconds later. <laughs> well, that was very good. Heading to another food truck. This looks promising. Well, if we're gauging by the distance from the monument, we haven't made it too far, but I think we found some more goodies. Got a little pork tasting happening here. Got some tapas here too. We were thinking of hitting a couple of more of those food trucks down there because they smelled so good, but the day's slipping by quickly here and we got to get back home and get ready for tonight's festivities. All right, so one of the things I've always wanted to do, I'm a big sports fan, and uh, I've always wanted to see a pro a football match in Europe. Today's the day. We're seeing uh, Sporting CP. Just walking around the uh, outside edge of the stadium looking for some food. Hmm. I think I might need a wardrobe adjustment here. Alright, I found some food. And uh, also some gear for the game. Oh yeah, team green here all the way. CP's newest fan. That was awesome. They actually came back from down two to one to win the match. Three to two, had a great time at the game. Right now we're getting more into the heart of Lisbon and heading towards St. George's Castle. Made it through the gates here and just at the edge of the castle wall, we got a really good view of the city. This is pretty awesome here. I heard that there was peacocks on the property here and got three of them. Look how blue this one is, holy. Oh, this one over here's got some really pretty colors. The terraces. It's pretty open here. They let you kind of go up just about anywhere, which is cool. Ooh. Got part of the castle over there. More of the city. Getting to the main castle here, it looks like. Right, just going over the bridge. Made it inside and just climbing up one of the outer walls here. Hey look, got a food truck down there. Archaeological site. Right up these stairs. Over here is the archaeological site they're talking about. A lot of it's covered up in here. Definitely need to watch your step. These cobblestone walkways in here. Just at one of the towers here. At the corner of the wall. This is gonna be the best view from here. 
Well, we've seen a lot of castles the last few weeks. That was a pretty good one. One thing I'll say about this city is it is quite hilly. Lots of steps and windy, steep roads. No, we're good. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Next stop is a pretty interesting place that we are just about to hear now. A building, not quite like anything I've ever seen, if you could even call it a building. This is the place here, the Santa Justa lift. Over a 120 year old elevator that takes you up to some of the upper streets. Here's a closer look at it. We were gonna go up, but it is the last day of the trip and we're done with lines. Not happening, but very cool to see. All right, this is our last stop before we head back to the Airbnb. Commercial Square, big gigantic square here. Look at that massive archway. This guy's blowing some major amount of bubbles here. Look over here, there's a rainbow. It's a good way for the city to send us off back home. Just back near where we're staying and uh, hit the supermarket for a couple of things, but we leave tomorrow morning and my wife and I were calculating the other day when we leave, this wasn't planned, but we'll have been in Europe for exactly 50 days, which is just crazy to say. It has been a life-changing trip, literally. It has been amazing and we love each and every minute of it. We're looking forward to going home though. The trip's been great, but uh, can't wait to see the family. See the little pup, Eddie. He'll be crazy when we get home, but it's been amazing. And thanks so much for coming along for some of the trip. Bye-bye.